we are going to start in Sukhasana. So come on down, find an easy seat, cross your legs at your shins, flex your feet, take time here. Sukhasana translates into easy seat. So find a little ease. Bring your hands to your thighs, maybe you roll your shoulders, neck and head around. Try and stack your shoulders over your hips to find length from tailbone out the top of your head. Soften your face and close your eyes. And just allow the layers of your body to arrive as your eyes close and we peel away the layer of sight. Turn your gaze inward. Soften the layer of sound. Soften the layer of your skin to the sensations of the air around you. Allow your heart layer to arrive. Allow your gut to settle. Bring your awareness to the layer of your breath as it glides in and out of your lungs and body. We'll take a few rounds of box breathing today or samavritti, equal length breathing. We'll inhale for a count of four, hold for a count of four, exhale for a count of four, and hold for a count of four. First, let's all take a big breath in, fill up, and a big exhale all the way to empty. First round, inhale four, three, two, one, pause, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, pause, four, three, two, one, inhale, four, three, two, one, pause, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, pause, four, three, two, one, inhale, four, three, two, one, pause, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, pause, four, three, two, two more rounds, inhale, four, Three, two, one, pause, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, pause, four, three, two, last round, inhale, four, three, two, one, pause, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, pause, four, three, two, one, return to a normal breath, in and out. And just observe the effects of that short round of pranayama, samavritti pranayama, meant to calm, to balance, to bring you into a more mindful present state. And in this state, I want you today to set your own intention. I want you to complete this mantra, I am, and you finish the sentence.
Whatever resonates with you today, maybe I am present, I am still, I am kind, I'm courageous. Fill in your blank, set your intention. I am. Draw your hands to heart center. Sealing that in, bow your forehead to your heart. Allow your eyes to crack open. Lift your chin, release your hands to your thighs. And any way you'd like to, make your way onto all fours. You might roll over your shins. You could swing your legs around. Take your time, spread your fingers wide, bring your hands under your shoulders. Knees stack under hips, toes are tucked and spread. Inhale, cow. Energetically pull your hands back towards your knees as your heart pulls forward and your sit bones flip to the sky. Exhale, cat. Tuck your tailbone, lift your belly. Push into your hands, let your head tuck as you spread between your shoulder blades. Inhale, cow, articulate through your spine, sit bones lift, heart pulls forward and up. Exhale, cat, tailbone tucks. Dome your upper back to the ceiling, work the top of your head closer to the tailbone as you push the floor away with your hands. Inhale, cow, waving through your spine. Exhale, cat, find that nice round. Inhale, cow, arching. Exhale, cat, to round. Inhale to a flat back, a neutral spine. As you exhale, just zip your belly in. Inhale, reach your right arm to the sky. Open your heart and chest. Exhale, thread your right arm through. Come all the way onto your right shoulder and the right side of your head. Push into your left hand. Try and stack your left shoulder over your bottom shoulder, really drawing that top shoulder back. Push a little more into your bottom arm. Square your hips and rotate from your belly button, chest, shoulder, and head. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Push a little more into that left hand. As you inhale, unthread, right arm reaches back up to the sky. And we'll take that twist on the breath. Exhale, right arm threads through. Inhale, unthread and open. Exhale, thread through and twist. One more, inhale, unthread and open. Exhale, thread through and twist. This time, inhale, unthread and open. And as you exhale, release right hand to the floor. Inhale, lift your left arm to the sky. Open chest, open heart. Exhale, thread your left arm through. Come to left shoulder and the left side of your head. Pause. Push more into that right hand. Try and stack your top shoulder over your bottom shoulder. Push a little more into that bottom arm. Square your hips and work to rotate from belly button, chest, Top shoulder and head. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Continue to push into that right hand. Inhale, unthread, left arm to the sky. Exhale, thread through and twist. Two more. Inhale, unthread and open. Exhale, thread and twist. Inhale, unthread and open. Exhale, thread and twist. Nice. Inhale, unthread and open. And on an exhale, left hand to the floor. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, slowly unfold your legs up and back into downward facing dog. Give a little extra push into the pads of your fingertips. Get longer through your arms, longer through your spine. Reach up and out through your sit bones. Notice though, as you press into your hands, if that causes your shoulders to crunch around your ears. See if you can keep that push in your hands that lengthen your spine, but soften your shoulders up your back away from your ear. 
You have a little more extension down and out through your heels. Keep that reach. Inhale, shift forward to plank. So continue to send energy out your heels as you find a long plank position. Add reach through the top of your head. Push into your hands. Zip your belly in. And using those toes, just take a couple rocks forwards and backwards, warming up your wrists and core for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, spreading your fingers, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your elbows straight back and lower all the way to the floor. Untuck your toes, walk your toes back to lengthen through your legs and lower back. Roll your shoulders back, squeeze your elbows in. Inhale, lift baby cobra. Imagine without moving your hands that you could drag your hands back. Re-engage between your shoulder blades, get wider across your chest. Tuck your chin slightly so the back of your neck is long. Stay here, take a breath in, lift two inches higher. Exhale, release. Inhale back into that baby cobra, shoulder blades squeezing, chest wide, neck long. I want you to stay here, and this time hover your hands off the floor an inch or two, really finding those back muscles. Give your tush a little squeeze, push the front of your hips down into the floor. Inhale, lift your chest two inches higher. Exhale, release hands and head to the floor. One more round, inhale, lift baby cobra, find those back muscles, hover your hands. This time, zip your legs together and add your legs, lift your legs off the floor. Engaging your tush, your hamstrings, your calves, the entire back line of your body is working. Use those muscles, inhale, lift two inches higher. Exhale, release, hands and forehead to the floor. Tuck your toes. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, press up to plank. Right back to downward dog and give your legs a pedal. You might shake out your head. Just add any movement to your down dog. That feels good. And continue with that exploration, adding movement using your breath as you walk your feet to your hands. No rush. Same thing when we find this forward fold, open your feet hip width apart, shake out your head and shoulders, grab hold of opposite elbows, and then close your eyes and just add any movement that feels good. If stillness feels right, then stay still and breathe. Otherwise, feel free to paddle your legs, shake your head. You could open your mouth, stick out your tongue. We're here for three, two, one. Release your arms. Stay soft in your shoulders and head. Bend your knees and unroll one vertebra at a time consciously. Let your tailbone get heavier. Start to stack hips over knees, shoulders over hips. Head is last to arrive. And once it does, take a couple shoulder rolls back. Step your feet together at the top of your mat. Big toes touch. Hands to heart center. Soften or close your eyes and return to your intention. Completing that mantra, I am. Seal that in. Once again, bow your forehead to your heart. Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up. Lift your heart, press your palms. Big exhale, fold forward, long spine as you dive out and over your legs. Inhale, half lift, long spine here. Top of head reaching forward. Shift a little more weight into your toes as you reach back through your tailbone. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step your right foot back into a lunge. Inhale, step your left leg to plank. Exhale, lower halfway down. Chaturanga, you can always bring your knees to the floor. Listen closely. Inhale, press right back up to plank. Exhale, lower all 
the way to the floor. Untuck your toes, slide your hands off to the sides of your mat, tent up on your fingertips, poke your elbows to the ceiling, push in your fingers, tuck your chin, inhale, wave through your spine, rolling cobra. Stretch your arms straight any amount, lift your heart, lift your gaze. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, lengthen to lower, pull your belly forward, Pull your heart forward, get longer as you land. Two more, press your fingers, tuck your chin. Inhale, wave through your spine. Exhale, lengthen to lower. Inhale, rolling cobra, lifting up. Exhale, lengthen to lower. Bring your hands back to the mat, tuck your toes. Keep your toes tucked under, press back into child's pose. Push into your hands and your sit bones towards your heels. With those toes tucked under, you get a little stretch through the feet. Inhale, gaze to your hands, pushing off those toes. Exhale into chaturanga, you're shooting forward, elbows bend. Inhale, up dog, press into the tops of your feet, lift your knees and thighs off the floor. Exhale, down dog, lift your hips, drop your head. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump feet to hands. Inhale, find that long spine shifting weight to your toes. Exhale, fold and let it go. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up, press your palms. Today, exhale, fold right back over your legs. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step your left foot back into a lunge. Inhale, right leg to plank. Exhale, lower halfway down. Use those knees if you need to. Inhale, press back up. Exhale, lower all the way to the floor. And tuck your toes, slide your hands off to the side of your mat. Inhale, rolling cobra, lifting up. Exhale, lengthen to lower. Twice more. Inhale, roll through your spine. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Hands come back to your mat, tuck your toes, press back child's pose with your toes tucked under. Push into those hands, let your sit bones glide back towards your heels as your arms and sideways stretch. Inhale, gaze to your hands. Exhale, chaturanga, push off your toes, spring forward. Inhale, up dog, legs are engaged, shoulders are soft. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, long spine, half lift. Exhale, fold, drop your head. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up, seal your palms. Big exhale to fold forward, really use your breath. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands down, right foot steps back to a lunge. Inhale, left leg steps to plank. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, press back up. Exhale, lower to the floor. Untuck your toes, fingers off to the sides of your mat. Inhale, rolling cobra, lift. Exhale, lengthen to lower. Two more, inhale, roll through your spine. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Hands to the mat, tuck your toes, press to child's pose with your toes tucked under. Inhale, gaze to your hands. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows bend. Catch yourself with your abdominals and arms. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full breath in. 
full breath out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up. Press your palms last time. Exhale, fold forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step your left foot back into a lunge. Inhale, right leg back to plank. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, press back up. Exhale, lower to the floor. Untuck your toes, slide your hands off to the sides of your mat. Inhale, rolling cobra. Exhale, lengthen to lower. Inhale, lift. Try and keep your shoulders down away from your ears. Exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale, lift. Maybe stretch those arms a little straighter. Exhale, lower. Hands back to your mat. Tuck your toes. Press back child's pose with your toes tucked under. Inhale, gaze to your hands. Exhale, shoot forward. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale and fold. Surya Namaskar B, inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Pause and breathe. Energetically, push down and out through your heels. Sit a little lower in your hips. Try and scoop your tailbone forward. Draw your belly in. Lift more through your heart. Reach through your fingers with soft shoulders. Take one more breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Melt your left heel to the floor. Exhale, knee to nose. Shift forward, shoulders over wrist. Inhale, three-legged dog. Shoot that right leg up and back. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Shoot that right leg through for fallen triangle. Spin to the inner edge of your back foot, and then see if you can flatten that back foot into the floor. Reach your left arm up to the sky. Lift your heart and hips. Big breath in. Exhale, left hand reaches towards right big toe. You're rounding your spine. Inhale, open left arm and heart. Exhale, left hand reaches towards right big toe. One more, inhale, open. This time, exhale, left hand, top of mat. Inhale, three-legged dog, shoot that right leg up and back. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Press down to rise, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open out, warrior two. Inhale, reach your right fingers to the front of your room, make space and find length in your right side body. Exhale, extend it, side angle. Keep that length in your right side, land your right hand inside your right foot. Turn your left palm to the front of your space and cast your left arm overhead. Use your bottom arm to push that bottom knee open. Use that bottom arm into your bottom leg to help you spin your torso to the ceiling. Push down and out through your feet. Draw your belly in. Keep pressing into your feet. Inhale, rise, reverse triangle. So you can reach that right arm more up to the ceiling than back today. Finding a big stretch as you press down into your right big toe mound, reaching up through your right fingertips. Take a full breath in. Exhale, triangle. Hip shift back. Right hand to right shin, left arm to the sky. Keep pressing down and out through your feet. At the same time, try and zip up through your inner thighs. Rotate your chest towards the ceiling. Maybe gaze towards that lifted thumb. Take a full breath in, keep this shape. 
Exhale, gaze to the floor. Ardha Chandrasana, soften that front knee. Right hand scoots forward and to the right slightly as you glide forward. Make sure your right hand is far enough forward so you can really lengthen through your right side. It almost feels like half lift. You're pulling so far, far forward into a long spine. And then work that rotation. Chest and hips flatten out to the left side of your space. This might be where you stay. Maybe Chapasana, bending that top knee, catching your foot, kicking foot to hand. Wherever you are, breathe. Three. Two, one, stay for a breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat, left hand comes to the floor. Bend your left knee, curl it in behind your right leg. Work your forehead closer to your front knee. Squeeze your back heel up towards your glutes. Inhale, standing splits. Extend that left leg to the sky as your forehead drops towards your front shin. Exhale, Shiva squat. Now we're coming back into standing split. Maybe this round, you bring your right hand to that lifted foot. And as you inhale, think of kicking that left knee to the sky. Wherever you are, take one more breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, low lunge, left foot steps back. Inhale, high lunge, press down through those feet to rise. Exhale, open twist right. Right arm back, left arm forward. Zip up through your inner thighs, stay lifted through your pelvic floor. Use that lift to slowly help you lower your back knee to the floor. So you're keeping that twist as you gently land back knee down, good. Back hand can come anywhere onto that back leg, maybe your hamstring, maybe your calf, maybe you find that back heel. Left arm reaches to the sky, gaze to that left hand. See if you can press your hips forward more, lift your heart a little more, and maybe start to find a deeper back bend. Breathe for three, two, one, take one more breath in. Exhale, chaturanga, this is a big one, take your time. Hands cartwheel forward, back knee lifts, right leg steps back, lower halfway. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Have a moment. That was a lot, let that settle. We'll take all of that on the left. Inhale, left leg to the sky, reach that right heel to the floor. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg up and back. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, cross your body, then shoot that left leg through. Spin to the inner edge of your back foot, and then try and seal that entire foot down as you reach your right arm to the sky. Press your hips and heart to the sky. Take a full breath in. Exhale, right hand reaches for left big toe, round your spine. Again, inhale, open. Exhale, right hand reaches for left big toe. Inhale, open. This time, exhale, right hand, top of mat. Inhale, three-legged dog, shoot that left leg up and back. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Press down through your feet. Inhale, reach up through your arms. Exhale, warrior two. On an inhale, start to reach your left fingers forward. Find length and space in your left side body. Exhale, left hand inside your left foot, right arm to the ceiling. Spin your right hand to face the front of your space and cast that right arm overhead. Getting longer through your entire right side, push bottom, hand, uh, bottom arm into bottom knee to open that left side as you rotate your torso to the sky. Pull your belly in, press into your feet. Inhale all the way up into reverse triangle. Try and reach that left arm straight up today. Pushing into your left big toe mound, finding a big reach to those left fingertips. Inhale, exhale, triangle. Left hand lightly lands on left shin, right arm to the ceiling. Zip up through your inner thighs as you press down and out through your feet. 
Try and square your chest to the side of the room. Stack top shoulder over bottom shoulder. Take a full breath in, keep this shape. Exhale, gaze to the floor. Ardha Chandrasana, soften through your front knee. Left hand scoots forward and to the left, and then make sure that left hand is far enough forward so you can really lengthen your left side. Try and flatten your torso and hips off to the right side of your space. This might be you. Maybe you bend that top knee, catch your foot, kick foot to hand. Chapasana. Breathe for three, two, one, take a full breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat. Right hand to the floor. Keep that, or bend that right knee if it's not bent. Curl into a tight, tight ball. Forehead to front knee, right heel squeezes towards your tush. Inhale, standing splits. Right leg extends up. Forehead drops to your front shin. Exhale, Shiva squat. Now, option to come right back into standing split or bring your left hand to that lifted foot. And as you inhale, send that right knee to the sky. Take a full breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, low lunge, right foot steps back. Inhale, high lunge, reach up. Exhale, open twist left, left arm back, right arm forward. Find that scissoring of your inner thighs, that scooping up of your pelvic floor. Use that lift and support to land your back knee down. Staying in that open twist, then working that back hand anywhere you can on that back leg, hamstring, calf, ankle, heel, right arm to the ceiling, gaze up. Lift your heart, send your hips forward as much as possible. Maybe add a little deeper back bend. Breathe for three, two, one. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. This is a big one. Take your time. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment. You might come back to your intention, come back to your breath, reset. That is our main sequence. We're going to smooth it out one more time, right and left. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right knee, left elbow into fallen triangle. Inhale, left arm opens. Exhale, left hand towards right big toe. Inhale, left arm opens. Exhale, left hand or right big toe. Inhale, left arm opens. Exhale, left hand, top of mat. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg up and back. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach your right fingers forward. Extend your right side body. Exhale, extended side angle. Now stretch longer through that left side body. Inhale, reverse triangle. Right leg stretches, right arm reaches straight up today. Exhale, triangle, hip shift back. Right hand down, left arm high. Take a full breath in. Keep this shape. Exhale, gaze to the floor. Ardha Chandrasana, right hand forward and to the right. Option to bend that top knee for Chapasana. Breathe for three, two, one. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat. Curl into that ball. Inhale, standing splits. Left leg shoots up. 
Exhale, Shiva squat, maybe right hand catches lifted foot. Inhale, your version of standing splits. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open twist right, zip up through your inner thighs. Use that control to lower your back knee to the floor. Back hand anywhere on that back leg. Reach your left arm to the sky. Send your hips forward as you find a back bend. Three, two, one. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Take your time. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Last time, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left knee, right elbow into fallen triangle. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, right hand to left big toe. Inhale, right arm opens. Exhale, right hand, left big toe. Inhale, right arm opens. Exhale, right hand, top of mats. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Inhale, rise, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach your left fingers forward, lengthen left side. Exhale, extended side angle, right arm overhead, stretch that right side. Inhale, reverse triangle, left arm reaches straight up. Exhale, triangle, left hand down, right arm high. Stay for a breath in. Keep the shape, exhale, gaze to the floor. Ardha Chandrasana. Maybe bend that top knee and catch your foot for three, two, one. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat, curl in. Inhale, standing splits, right leg shoots high. Exhale, Shiva squat. Maybe you grab that lifted foot with your left hand. Inhale into your version of standing splits. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, low lunge, right foot steps back. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open twist left, zip up through those inner thighs. Control the lowering of your back knee. Back hand anywhere on that back leg. Right arm to the ceiling. Send your hips forward, add a back bend. Three, two, one. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, move it through. Let's do one more like that. Inhale in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, fold and stay. Heel to your feet, hip width apart. Soften your knees as much as you need to catch those big toes in yogic toe lock. First two fingers and your thumbs wrap around your big toes. Push toes into fingers. Inhale, pull your chest forward to lengthen. Exhale, pull fingers into your toes and fold deeper over your legs. Roll your shoulders up your back away from your ears. You might give your head a little shake. Find ease in the neck. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, push down and out through your heels to lift and spread your sit bones. Take one more breath in, use this exhale, fold a little deeper. Keep your left fingers wrapped around your left big toe. Bring your right hand to your right hip. Start to soften both knees. Shift your weight to your right foot. We're coming up to stand. As you do, bend that left knee up towards your left shoulder. Take your time. 
This might be where you stay. Push down into that bottom foot, get taller through the back of your neck and the top of your head. If you feel comfortable here, you might start to extend that left leg any amount out to the left. Maybe your knee stays bent. Maybe you're able to stretch that left leg all the way straight. Keep a hold of your left big toe. Take a breath in. Exhale, standing figure four. Use that left hand to guide your left ankle over your right thigh. Sit low in your hips. Think chest forward past that front shin. Holding on to that big toe, we're gonna rewind. Inhale back out into that extended side leg. Any amount straight. Exhale, standing figure four. Little bit of a balance challenge. One more time, inhale, extend out to the side. Exhale, standing figure four. This time hands to heart center for three, two, one. Inhale, left foot next to right, arms overhead, palms press. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a breath. Heel toe your feet hip width apart. Hands to your hips. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, fold forward and grab your big toes. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, Padangustasana, three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one knees can bend any amount. Inhale. Exhale, two. Take one more breath in. Fold a little deeper as you exhale. Keep a hold of that right big toe. Bring your left hand to your left hip. Soften both knees and then start to work your way over to your left foot and up to stand. Right knee comes towards that right shoulder. Push down into your bottom foot. Lengthen through the back of your neck and top of your head. Maybe any amount, you start to stretch that right leg up and out to the right. Take a breath in. Exhale, use your right fingers on that right big toe to guide that right leg into standing figure four. Sit low in your hips, reach your heart forward past that front shin. Here we go, rewind, inhale, right leg opens up and out. Exhale, standing figure four. One more time, inhale, right leg opens up and out. Exhale, standing figure four. Hands to heart center, breathe for three, two, one. Inhale, right foot next to left, sweep your arms around and up, palms press. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a breath. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Exhale, prayer twist right. Press your palms, hook left arm to the outside of your right leg. Use arm and leg against each other to work that twist. Sit a little lower in your hips. Try and keep all of that happening gaze to the floor. And then similar to Shiva squat, just a little balance challenge. Keep your knees bent. See if you can curl your left heel in towards your tush. With control, with grace, take a big step back with that left foot and find a lunge. Option to lower your back knee if you need a little more balance. Press arm into leg, spin heart towards your thumbs. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release, hands to the floor. Crawl all the way to the left to the back of your mat for Skandasana. Left toes turn out, left knee bends. Right toes spin to the ceiling. Use your left elbow to push your left knee open wide. 
Hands can stay on the floor. Maybe you bring your hands to heart center for balance. Maybe arms open wide, or you could even take a bind. Breathe for three, two, one. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, release your hands to the floor if they're not there already, and then crawl into a lizard at the top of your mat. Both hands come inside your right foot, square off your hips, drop your back knee. This might be where you're at today. Maybe you slide that back knee back. That'll give you a little deeper stretch. Maybe you bend your elbows. Work towards your forearms. Big, full breaths. Letting your hips drop down and forward. Relax through your shoulders, neck and head. We're here for three, two, one. Walk back up onto your hands. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Inhale, three-legged plank. Shoot your right leg back and keep it lifted. Exhale, bend your elbows lower all the way to the floor. Once you land, untuck your left toes, bend your right knee. Push into your hands. Inhale, stretch your arms straight any amount. Lifting your torso, your hips might even lift off the floor. Working your head back towards the sole of your right foot. Take a big breath in. Exhale, slowly lower chest and leg. Bend your left knee, changing signs. Push into your hands, inhale, lift. Stretching those arms straight any amount. Head dropping back towards the sole of your left foot. Full breath in. Exhale, slowly lower. Open your legs wide so that the knees come to the edges of your mat. Spin your pinky toenails down to the floor. That'll help widen your lower back. And then bend both knees. Bring your big toes to touch. Push into your hands. Inhale, stretch those arms any amount. Lifting up and back. Top of head reaching for the soles of your feet. Take one more breath in. Exhale, slowly lower. Bring those legs back together. Gently press back, child's pose. Take a breath. Easy elbows, easy shoulders. When you're ready, find downward facing dog. From down dog, inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Exhale, prayer twist left, palms pressed, right arm hooks to the outside of left leg. Use arm and leg against each other to twist deeper. Sit a little lower. Keep all of that happening, gaze to the floor. And then just for a moment, see if you can squeeze right heel to right glute. Almost like that Shiva squat, testing your balance. And then with confidence and grace, step that right foot back into a lunge. Once again, option to lower that back knee if you need it. Make the twist the priority, so don't feel bad about dropping that back knee if that gives you more leverage and stability to go deeper in your twist. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release. Hands to the floor, crawl all the way to the right. Skandasana at the back of your mat, turn your right toes out, left toes to the ceiling. Bend that right knee, push it open with your right elbow. Maybe hands stay on the floor. They can come to your heart, they can open wide or bind. Breathe for three, two, one, stay for a breath in. 
Exhale, release, hands to the floor. If they're not there, crawl forward into the lizard. Both hands inside your left foot. Drop your back knee. This might be it. Maybe you scoot that back knee back. Maybe you work your elbows towards the floor. Take your time, just feel out this side. Coming back to your bra. We're here for three. Two, one. Come back up to your hands. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Inhale, three-legged plank. Shoot that left leg back to a hover. Exhale, lower to the floor. Once you arrive, bend your left knee, untuck your right toes. Inhale, push into your hands, lift your chest. Work that head back towards your left foot. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, slowly lower, chest and leg. Bend that right knee, change sides. Inhale, lift. Top of head towards right foot. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, slowly lower. Take a moment to widen those legs. Really wide, knees mat width. Try and spin your pinky toenails down and then bend your knees. Big toes come to touch. Last time, press near your hands. Inhale, lift up. Top of head reaching towards your feet. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, slowly lower down. Work those legs together. Gently press back, child's pose. How much can you release into the floor? Finding those layers again, skin, bones, breath, heart, gut. When you're ready, find downward dog. From down dog, inhale, right leg to the sky, gaze to your hands. Exhale, pigeon on the right. Take your time. Walk your left knee and left toes as far back as you can. Inhale, lengthen your spine. If this feels nice to stay upright, go for it. Otherwise, exhale and fold. Great place to close your eyes. Just notice as we start to slow down and come into a bit of stillness, what happens to the mind? If it starts to run off with a thought, just pause and bring your attention back to your breath, your body. However many times you need to, just catching your mind if it runs away. And gently drawing it back in. Start to walk your hands back in. Tuck your back toes. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky, gaze to your hands. Exhale, pigeon on the left. Same attention, same care on this left side. Walk your right knee and right toes as far back as you can. Inhale to lengthen, maybe stay. Exhale, maybe fold forward. a great place to come back to your mantra. I am.
Start to walk your hands back in. This time though, just roll to your left hip, swing your right leg all the way around. Soles of your feet together, knees wide. Baddha Konasana, sit up tall, take a breath in. Exhale and fold. Let your shoulders slide down your back. Maybe give your head a little shake. Make your way up to sit. Open your legs out wide into a straddle. Knees and toes point to the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fingers can walk forward. They can reach for your big toes. Start to make your way up to set. You can use your hands if you need to. Gently close your legs. Feet are flexed. Sit up tall. Take a breath in. Exhale and fold. Start to roll through your spine and keep unrolling all the way onto your back. Happy baby, let your knees bend, feet flex towards the ceiling. Catch for the outer edges of your feet. Pull your feet down, knees down. Push feet into hands and reach your lower back towards the floor. Feel free to stay still or add some rocks. Maybe stretch one or both legs straight. Bring the soles of your feet together there. Let your knees open wide. Lift your forehead towards your toes. Try and bring your toes and your forehead to touch. Breathe for three, two, one. Gently release and set up for final rest. Shavasana, legs long. Give yourself time to settle in here, all the layers bit by bit. Let's all take a big breath in through the nose and a big sigh out. <sighs>
Start to deepen your breath. Wiggle fingers, toes, wrists, ankles, head gently side to side. And start to walk your heels towards your seat to bend your knees. Roll to your right. As you're ready, make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Hands to heart center, close your eyes. I usually end class with a quote, but today I'd like you to return to your mantra, sealing your practice, I am. The divine light in me bows to the divine light in you. Namaste.